So there's a new visitor in our solar system and wow, is it causing a stir? But what exactly is it? And more importantly, where did it come from? Today, we're gonna dig into the real story behind this incredible object from a distant star. Okay, so chances are you've seen a headline or maybe a post popping up all over your social media feeds talking about Comet 31 Atlas. It's definitely been getting a lot of attention with everyone getting super excited about this new arrival. But here's the thing, the twist that makes this whole story so cool. Comet 31 Atlas, as you've been hearing it, it's not real. The object itself is absolutely real, but that name, well, that's where the story gets a little more interesting. All right, so if that's not the real name, what is? Let's untangle this little case of mistaken identity and get properly introduced to the interstellar traveler that has the entire scientific community buzzing. The object's actual official name is 3i slash Atlas, and its name basically tells you its entire life story. The 3i means it's the third confirmed interstellar object we've ever found, and Atlas comes from the name of the survey that discovered it. Yeah, so it's not 31, like the number, it's 3i. And that little difference? It tells you everything you need to know. So picture this, it's July 1st, 2025, and the Atlas system in Chile spots something new. Now, the funny thing is, Atlas stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Its whole job is to find asteroids that might pose a threat to Earth. But this time, it stumbled upon something way, way rarer, and for scientists, a whole lot more exciting. Okay, so how do we know, I mean, how can astronomers look at a tiny dot of light and say with certainty, yep, that's from another star system? Well, it all comes down to the path it takes through space, what you could call its cosmic fingerprint. Think about it like this. Everything that belongs to our solar system is kind of on a leash held by the sun's gravity. They travel in these closed elliptical loops. They go out, they come back but 3i slash Atlas is on what's called a hyperbolic path. It's an open curve. This thing is a cosmic tourist, just passing through, waving hello, and then it's gone. And that path, that hyperbolic trajectory, that is the absolute smoking gun. It's the cosmic fingerprint that proves it's not from around here. It's moving so fast that our sun's gravity just can't grab onto it. It's on a one-way trip, and once it leaves, it's heading back into the void, never to return. And what's wild is how new all of this is. I mean, think about it. For all of human history, we had zero confirmed interstellar visitors. Then, boom, 2017, we get the very strange cigar-shaped Oumuamua. Then in 2019, along comes Borisov. And now, with 3i slash Atlas, we officially have a trio. It's no accident either. Our ability to scan the whole sky has gotten so much better. And that number, three, that's what's so mind-blowing here. We're not talking about the 300th comet we've ever seen. This is only the third time ever in all of human history that we have confirmed a visitor from another star system. It is an incredibly rare event. All right, so it's rare, we get it. But why should we care? Why is a faint, super distant object such a huge deal? Well, because each one of these visitors is like a message in a bottle, a physical piece of another part of the galaxy delivered right to our doorstep. You know, this quote, I think, just nails it. We can't build a spacecraft to go to another star. Not yet, anyway. But we don't have to. The universe is sending us samples for free. It's an unbelievable opportunity to study a piece of an alien world right here in our own backyard. And that's why this isn't just cool. It's a scientific goldmine. See, our first visitor, Oumuamua, was, well, it was just plain weird. The second one, Borisov, looked a lot more like a normal comet. Now, with 3i Atlas, we finally have a third data point. We can start looking for patterns, comparing and contrasting. Each one is a little time capsule, holding clues about how planets form somewhere else in the galaxy. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Awesome, when can I see it? And, well, we need to talk about that. Let's get into a little expectation versus reality, because this interstellar show is probably not what you're picturing. So let me just rip the Band-Aid off right now you are not going to see this thing with your naked eye, not even close. This isn't gonna be some bright, spectacular comet lighting up the night sky. To give you some perspective, let's look at this chart. The faintest star you can possibly see on a perfect night is around magnitude six. Pluto, which is famously hard to find, is way down at magnitude 14. 3i slash Atlas, it's hovering around magnitude 18 or 19. And you gotta understand, 
The magnitude scale is weird. The higher the number, the fainter the object, and it's an exponential scale. To put it simply, this thing is thousands of times too dim for even a really nice large backyard telescope. This one's strictly for the big guns, the professional observatories, with gigantic mirrors and super sensitive cameras. But hey, don't let that get you down. Just because you can't point your own telescope at it doesn't mean you have to miss out on the action. In fact, you can still be a part of this amazing historic moment right from your computer. So, you want to follow along? Here's what you do. First, get on social media and follow the big observatories. NASA, ESA, you know the drill. They'll be posting the real images. Second, you can check out professional tools like JPL Horizons to see its exact location in the sky. And definitely connect with your local astronomy clubs online. Many will be live streaming their telescope feeds. Because really, the true show here isn't a bright light in your backyard. The real show is watching science happen in real time. It's about seeing the data pour in from telescopes all over the planet, as we all work together to figure out the secrets of this amazing cosmic messenger. Look, this discovery proves one thing for sure. We're getting way better at spotting these cosmic passers-by. And it just makes you wonder, right? As we find the fourth, and the fifth, and the tenth visitor, what incredible secrets from other star systems are we about to uncover?